Hi, this is Nick from Creative 111 here with Boris FX to talk to you about the VR units and how you can apply them to your 360 VR workflow, spherical video, and even affordable new 360 cameras, as well as the new addition of 180 cameras that have come to market. 360 content has fell all over the web, social media, including also major news sites such as the New York Times and CNN. Now, editing and finishing 360 VR requires specialized tools. Some of these tools are available as like applications such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, as well as Final Cut Pro, but then other video editing applications don't have access to great 360 tools at all. And that's where Boris FX comes in. It's either an extension of your existing tool set, which we'll see here in Premiere Pro, or can be its own tool set altogether, and best of all, works cross-platform. In this movie, we're going to take a look at directly at how we can use BCC VR units inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects and why we might want to give them a look, although some of the names of certain effects are the same. Let's start off by looking inside of Premiere Pro at both VR Reorient and VR Insert. And I've got a simple sequence in front of me. This contains a stereoscopic clip with both the left and right eye filmed top and bottom. One great thing about Premiere Pro is that you do have the ability with your VR video display to mimic how someone might see this awesome stereoscopic footage inside of a headset. You can also come in here and make sure that your video VR settings are displaying your appropriate left or right eye, or as well as how it would appear with anaclyph glasses. But this could fall down in certain situations, your VR video, when you're working with footage that is neither, but is indeed 180 footage or has essentially cameras that only capture half of your sphere. Various social media tests that people, when they watch stuff through a head mounted display or even on a mobile device, spherical footage, they only look at half of the sphere. And this has introduced a ton of new 180 cameras to the market. The problem is in Premiere Pro, there isn't necessarily a default sequence set up to view this. While they do have the options to take a 180 stereoscopic clip like you see here and if we head to the modify interpret footage menu we could try to conform our echo rectangular stereoscopic side-by-side -side footage and a particular horizontal and vertical capture if not it's going to use the properties from the file in this case it reads it incorrectly as an echo rectangular monoscopic let's get it halfway there we're going to view this as an echo rectangular stereoscopic side-by-side -side format with the appropriate horizontal and vertical capture. I've now placed this footage inside a sequence and we'll notice that here in the VR mode, the only problem is that while we can look top and bottom, it's not gonna let us see the empty space. We also wanna make sure that any effects that we apply are set up for our 180 stereoscopic or monoscopic export. Here, we can introduce the first BCC VR Reorient tool, which I'm gonna to place onto this clip and show you that under effect controls, you've got a plethora of import format options extending your uh, the Premiere Pro NLE. If we come up here, we can select the stereo left, right. We can even choose a different output format. I'll keep this at stereo out left, right. We can also choose an import horizontal 180 degree view. With this setup, this effect comes with certain view modes, such as a, instead of full, I'll choose preview. And using the controls down here, my preview controls, I can look left and right and actually see how what's on the other side of the sphere, which is indeed nothing. I'll choose to reset that and just look top and bottom here in my 180 degree environment. And I'll just choose to take this effect and delete it from the clip. So if I go here to the BCC Reorient tool and just apply it to my stereoscopic clip in the timeline, Again, I can go up here and choose the appropriate format, which happens to be top bottom in this case, but a throw 360 degree spherical capture with a views camera. While I have the ability to change the tilt, pan and roll, very similar to your immersive, immersive rotate sphere control, you don't have the option of those preview modes directly for side the plugin. And my favorite, which happens to be overlays. So this mode or allows you to throw on overlay guides to see the different aspects of your camera, as well as overlay faces. And as a video editor, I'm concerned with story. And sometimes you wanna make sure what your person is gonna look at. You wanna know exactly what you're gonna to cut to here from your front camera perspective when you go to your next shot. So using these controls, along with your tilt, pan, and roll controls, you can reorient the 
the scene even better. And combine this with Premiere Pro's comparison view, great control when it comes to cutting and telling story in 360 video. Besides the VR Reorient tool, we're also gonna introduce the idea of the Insert tool. Now, Premiere Pro has something called a Plane to Sphere effect. You can drag this onto flat graphics as well as text elements, and by choosing the right modes, make sure that it is either set up for a stereoscopic or monoscopic display. However, in many cases of 360 video, you'll find that text or graphics are repeated throughout the sphere. Sometimes we can't control where the viewer is going to look, but we definitely want them to see a piece of text which is gonna drive the story forward. Enter the BCC VR insert tool, which I'm gonna to apply to my clip here in the timeline just below my actual text element. And I'm gonna set up the import format correctly where I'm gonna choose a stereo top bottom display. We're gonna keep it at 360 degrees, but notice that we could have it work for 180 degrees in the last example. We're gonna make sure the insert layer is set to video two, which is the track that has my text. Now once I do, I see the addition of two different pieces of text here in the scene. Since I'm not interested in seeing my original text layer, I'm just gonna control click it and choose to disable it. And now I can start to work with orienting the text in my scene. As I scroll down, I've got a series of controls that can help me, including the ability to scale up this text a little bit. We can play around with convergence in terms of left and right eye. Make sure the anti-aliasing is set to best and also start to play with the latitude and longitude of where this is in the scene. Again, an extension of your existing Premiere Pro tool set, but giving you even further control when working with 360 footage. On top of that, if I look at the bottom of this effect, just above reorient, I've got this repeater effect, which allows me to repeat my text on different sides of the sphere. The current version of VR units allows us to repeat our text as a one third option, which means it will appear at three sides of the sphere. Also, when we're talking about stereo, it's important to mention that there's a convergence parameter, and this will give our text depth or make it pop off screen as you see it in a movie theater whenever you wear those 3D glasses. You can try this out in an anaglyph view right inside of Premiere Pro. If I repeat this on the front and back, notice that now there's two pieces of text that show up. In fact, I can choose to basically show this on four sides. We see that the text is overlapping in this case. However, if I go back up to the scale and bring this down to a value of one and take a look at this effect in my 360 VR video display or built in to the insert module, go into the reorient here and take a full size preview using the preview left, right and up and down controls. I can see how the various text elements exist in my 360 stereoscopic spherical C. So there you have it working with both VR insert and VR reorient inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Download the VR units today from borisfx.com and don't forget to check them on social media on all platforms. I'm Nick Haraz from Creative 111. Thanks so much for watching.